Week two, here we go! I know you've been waiting with bated breath since last week's episode, and the gong never sleeps. Last week we had some ups, we had some downs, triumphs, tragedies, beefy riff steaks, and limp wilted riff salads. We are just one week closer to figuring out who's gonna take home the amazing prizes that have been provided by our sponsors, Dean Guitars, and Fishman Pickups. Remember that the first place winner is going to be taking home this very Dean Thoroughbred guitar. It rips, it sounds awesome, and it looks like a million bucks. And then the fan favorite as chosen by you gets to take home these very fine Fishman Fluence Pickups, the Matt Hafey Custom Series set, and the Thomas McRocklin Custom Series set, a whole host of different kinds of tones that you'll be able to drop in your guitar. There's links in the description below where you can pick up these pickups and that guitar for yourself. But enough yakking, let's get cracking. Dominic Boucher. What would face-melting slugs from Mars invading Earth sound like? A song produced, composed by me using Tux guitar, using all VSTs, Odin, Loki, perfect drums, etc. Since I am physically disabled to an extent, but like hell if I'm gonna let that stop my musical ideas. That is a fucking fantastic attitude to have. Good on you, mate. My band name is Onrio, and it is just me just making what I want to hear. Mixed by me, who is self-taught. Face-melting slugs from Mars, Onrio. Her name's Onrio, and she's a face-melting slug from Mars. But it still needs a top line. God damn it, Dominic. God damn it. Do you know why I pulled you over, Dominic? Listen, you seem like a cool guy. I'm going to let you off with a warning, but you got to have a top line. What you've got here is pretty cool, especially considering that you made it entirely with VSTs. Maybe you should get a top line VST. Next time, it's going to be a ticket. Jared Cardas, hello there. I'm a songwriter from upstate New York. I decided to get a modest recording rig a few months ago. This song is a tribute to Tara, the love of my life. And this is unfortunately the first song I've ever written for her. I typically write hard rock songs, but my father played Delta Blues guitars. All right, lose this love. I'm guessing that's what you don't want to do. Bit of a Pink Floyd vibe right out of the gate. Which I like. If ever you need me, just tell me when. I don't think I've ever consciously listened to Delta Blues, so I have no idea what it's about. Make something that sounds so nice with these lyrics. All 
right, that was pretty nice. I don't think that there was anything bluesy about it. Those lyrics felt like obligatory love song lyrics. Like, have you ever said the word strive in real life? I'm really striving this week. It sounds awkward. Aaron Ronda. Reasons Above All has been a rock metal band for just over 10 years. We write and record all of our own music, and our song, I Grieve Sweet Nothings, is about dealing with toxic people who feel empowered by abusing the sympathy others. As someone who's gotten a lot of sob stories in these emails, I can relate. Reasons Above All, I Grieve Sweet Nothings. <laughs> Oh, it's already got a bit of a piratey groove to it. I could drink grog to this. This is grog. were made from lies. Dry your eyes. Here's a surprise. I'm feeling like the theme of this month is decent songs with terrible lyrics. Brent Funkhauser. Hello, my name is Brent Funkhauser and I'm submitting my song, We Get By. We Get By is an upbeat blue collar ballad that celebrates not having a lot, but having everything you need. This track was not found. Maybe it has been removed. Maybe you don't have everything that you need. Jaco Reentasso, what's new new? This song is about waking up every morning of every day with the thought that something wonderful is gonna happen. It's about the thrill of seeking new, new adventures. New challenges? Bring them on! It's about making life exciting every day by asking yourself, What's new, new for me today? What's new, new, pussycat? Jack or Tasso! Jocko's got the sauce!
Oh, Mario just got a power up. That's a cool sound. I like the synths. Oh, it's tasty time. Time for tasty licks. Yeah, I can stand to listen to more of this. Ooh, some spicy corn. It's pretty rare that we get listenable instrumentals. So I'm gonna let this play out. Yeah. Bringing back the melody that I really miss. Wanna reminisce? We got another one that's kind of end of for the musical. You gotta watch out for that, all right? It's a good sound, but it gets old real quick. All right. I'm feeling... I'm feeling a little bit burnt out on the feeling of this, if that makes sense. was really good. I kind of felt like you didn't leave yourself anywhere to go for like the climax of the song. There's a point in there where we came back around to the melody from the beginning and it, it felt basically about the same as it did in the earlier parts of the song. It didn't hit any harder for the final time. It's really got to hit like a 10 pound hammer, something that's big and heavy that hits really hard. But that's a very strong contender. No gong for you, my friend. If you're watching this and you're a guitar player, there is a pretty good chance that you have written a hundred riffs, some of them are maybe even pretty awesome, and have not completed a whole single song in your life. If that's true, I have got the course for you. It's 100% free. It's called the Seven Day Riff to Song Challenge. And if you take it, I am gonna help you turn one riff from your pile of awesome ones into one song in one week, completely free. Get that at the link in the description. And now, back to the gongin'. Anthony Termine, Roanoke, Cost of Glory. My and I were trying out a new sound and this is what it came out. My what and I, You're just my. I 
I don't know if somebody set the auto-tune to the wrong scale or what. I would check on all of that. Andre Dutois. As a teen, I played guitar all day, every day, but it fell by the wayside when I went to college. Years later, I got an itch to pick it up again, and this was one of the first songs I wrote. The idea was to portray the power of the ocean. I'd absolutely love to be able to upgrade to something like the Holcomb guitar. <laughs> oh, you missed the boat on that one, bro. <laughs> and have something awesome to pass down to my kid one day, as my wife is currently pregnant and all of the new expenses are preventing me from being able to afford a new guitar. That's why you gotta wrap it up. Water by Luna Rift. Oh, look at that, the sound of water right out of the gate. Sounds like a seashell. good riff. Better be more than just that riff. And water. Water's the top line. This is me grooving with pain in my eyes knowing that there's no top line coming. Water, 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 water. Drip, drop. Top line's not just a suggestion, pal. Sorry. Matthew Tompkins. Cries Hannah is a band that is from Memphis, Tekken. The song is inspired by the Salem Witch Trials. The verses are written from the perspective of the prosecutors, while the bridge is from the perspective of the persecuted. Repent, cries Hannah. what I get. I punched Kenneth by accident. Oh, that kind of hurt. Yeah, this is fine. It's heavy, cool, I guess. As It Rains. We are As It Rains, a young newcomer band from Munich, Germany. Between the noise of everyday life and the insecurities of growing up, we write our own coming-of-age story. You know life could be so much better, but you don't have the guts to do what is needed to be done. We hope you enjoy it. As It Rains, fear. These thoughts are creeping through my mind I'm trying my hardest to leave them behind But a victory seems way out of sight As I'm losing my hope I can't Got a nice voice 
a nice voice. The production is pretty banging. Once again, the specter of terrible lyrics rears its head, ruining yet another pretty good song. I couldn't write a song in German. Meine Deutsch ist sehr schlecht. But these lyrics were just like, they're just nothingness. Sorry. Nicola Lodolo, instrumental song, just three minutes long, written in two days. I'm not a pro player, and you can clearly hear that. I just play as a hobby for pleasure, almost myself, and I do not have any more a band from a long time. Play some music is my daily mantra to shut down my brain and enjoy the moment. Devil Race, Nick72. So many angles of the guitar and none of them of him playing the melody part. It's a pretty cool riff. Oh, the guy playing the solos in a different room. That's what that's why he's not on camera. like not half bad but I get the idea that was like pretty okay Kyle Watson this song is a mix of old-school death metal and slam I had a lot of fun making it I hope you enjoy it enough that it wasn't the worst part of your day making reaction video cheese Seth Putnam's bussy carpet bombing campaign I feel like Seth Putnam would think that's funny I know he's dead sold your dog to a Chinese restaurant. More like a dive bombing campaign, you know what I mean? you got this has something it has not nothing all right all right so obviously I have no fucking earthly clue what you are saying in here but the phrasing was still bland and terrible. I kept listening to this because it was a bit reminiscent of Dying Fetus, who I like a lot, but it doesn't really have much personality. So it's just aight right for me. This fucking hat is just so terrible on me, but that makes it much funnier. Mitch Patty, Flying High. You've heard of Flying High again, Ozzy Osbourne. This was the first one, the first Flying High. He had to fly so that Ozzy could fly again. my life I wish I could find the words to write this wrong for the sake of you and I little chance we're gonna make it through the night Have a bit of a 90s vibe. Last night I wasn't so sure I'd wake up. I need to hear your voice and ground my feet. I don't really think of these as pop melodies. 
lost in memories. Oh, All right, buddy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Really nice guitar tone. But it's not going to save you from the god. If you're going to do this style, it's got to have a hook. That had no hook at all. There, that was all very nice, but none of it was memorable. Zombie Miro Tsubishigami. This song has melancholic melodies, but meant for energetic headbanging music. When you look, though, select the second song. I'm not really sure what to tell you, son. This, there's only one song that this linked to. Main mixer of metal and visual K. There are some visual K bands that I do enjoy very much. If you've never listened to Versailles Philharmonic Quintet, please do yourself a favor and go have a listen. That's it for week two. I don't know, you guys. What do you think? Some pretty good stuff in there. Do you think any of that is worthy of taking home these two amazing prizes yet? There's still two whole weeks of entries, so it's anybody's game at this point. But I'm curious to know which ones your favorites were, so go ahead and leave me a comment telling me that. And if you want to learn more about how to write songs, I have a whole course called Complete Rock and Metal Songwriting. You can get that at the link in the description. Huge thanks to our sponsors, Fishman Pickups and Dean Guitars for providing the amazing prizes for the contest this month. Thanks to all of you for sending in your songs. You can still enter the contest. It is ongoing. Hit the link in the description to send your song to me, and I'll see you next week.